Okay, so what is up guys, this is Kiran here and welcome back again to Tech Kiran YouTube channel. This is Project Awaken, Awaken OS unofficial build which right now I've installed it on my Redmi Note 8 as another Android version 11 build. And in this video I'm going to show you the Antutu benchmark score, the Geekbench score, how's the performance, everything in this video and some features and everything. In this video I'll try to show you safety and status and something else like that. How's the performance, how's the room going on and how are my experiences. I'm gonna share with you everything stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end let's get started quickly as we're talking about the project awaken awaken version v 1.4 magenta unofficial version which is based on android version 11 right now a lot of rooms are coming based on android version 11 as expected and this is a very cool kind of android version we already know about that and as always this build also includes all the android version 11 features including the latest december security patch so that's good and talking about the quicksilver kernel this is a quicksilver kernel which you had pre-installed which is not that much good in the term of battery backup yes it's not that much great in the terms of battery backup yes you can try out some other kernels 16 ryzen or there are a lot of custom kernels available for this device which you can try out if you want to the things which i have noticed so far the bug the main thing which is kind of a bug which is kind of not a bug but the thing which i noticed so far is this the full screen gesture mode is enabled and still the space behind this google keyboard is kind of irritating for me because i just don't want to use these kind of things it's available here so a little bit of a disappointing thing for me from my preferences not sure about you you can change the keyboard and then you'll not see any space like this but first of all if you get this space in gboard because gboard is one of the preferable keyboard everyone just use on their devices but right now like this little bit of issue for me the things which you get here and this is the your quick settings panel where you have the date and day everything here and the quick settings panel like this if you click this icon and go for this options we just have the option of choosing the columns columns landscape and quick bar columns but does not comes with the option of choosing the rows you can also customize the asin color and i have applied the asin color red here so that's why it's just looking like this and this this is just not like that and this is the default launcher which you get here and this is not a pixel launcher this is just normal quick step launcher as expected if you install the google you'll see the google pixel feed maybe i'm not sure about that if you hold down here you will see the styles and wallpapers option and we have the styles and wallpapers option here if you go for the wallpaper section here we have these the man the mandalorian which includes the five wallpapers you can apply them if you want to like just click here or you can apply directly from here so if you're looking for these kind of wallpapers the option is available for you just click on the set wallpaper also if you have noticed even I have applied the ASIN color to red, these colors are still pink and by default you will see this pink color everywhere but after applying the ASIN color if it is still pink, I don't know why but it's everywhere pink, 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 not sure about this but it is. So we just applied this wallpaper and the wallpaper seems to be really nice, some wallpapers are available which are looking good. The things which you get here as I just told you that I'm gonna show you the Antutu, Be Big Antutu Geekbench score and also the benchmark which is Geekbench score everything in this video. So first of all we're gonna talk about Antutu Geekbench, Antutu benchmark, how is the performance. 182,426 is the end to the benchmark score which you get here which is quite good and on the basis of scores this room seems to be really really nice and to the benchmark score which is 182,426 is quite good and like that we also have the very good kind of quick bench score if you go here and get check out the history 310 is the single core score that's quite good and 1323 is the multi core score so that's quite amazing average 307 and now we got 310 multi core 1277 and now we got 1323 so that seems really really nice and i just told in my one video that i don't believe in these scores and yes i still agree with that these scores does not matter the overall performance how the room behaves in a daily life that matters the most and these scores are just scores on the basis or you can say on the page and these are just on the page not exactly related to the things which you get here the performance is good but is it really this kind of performance score because if you use any other room you'll see the less or more than this but the performance will not differ some things are available here which we cannot even identify 
the things which you get here talking about the magic version in my case i'm using magic modded version yes i'm using the magic modded version talking about the safety and status and yes here it is safety and status is passing maybe because by installing that yes magic hide props config i've installed that magic hide props config here so that's where the safety and status is passing so you will be able to use the banking apps without even any issues going for the play store and settings here we have the devices certified option available so no issues in using any kind of banking apps i'm using it for some time don't got any major issues the camera go the google camera go edition is pre-installed there is no nx camera by default and you can also use a gcam normal full in full version of gcam if you want to if you want to try it out other things seems to be same safety and gig bench and to do everything i already shown you now let's move on to some little bit of features going for the xiaomi parts which includes a usb fast charge option clear speaker option xiaomi dose and me sound enhancer no extra things here security includes the fingerprint and face lock both available but does not include the app lock but still it's quite good and going for the display section some little bit of actions sections options available which includes the theming fonts icon shapes icon packs settings dashboard icons and awaken theming which just includes the asin picker but nothing else other things same 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 normal nothing else like that awaken settings includes some little bit of features series bar related etc we already know about all these things the major things i just wanted to share with you i hope you got them and i hope you like this video this is all from today's video thanks for watching goodbye